Hi, I'm Rachel Gregg from Darkroom Door and I'm so happy to be here on the Scrap Time YouTube channel to show you our new February stamp releases. So I'm going to show you the stamps and also some creative samples just to show you how they can be used. So here are our four new stamp sets. We've got the You Are Everything, Sketch Numbers, Puzzle Pieces and Spread Your Wings. So the You Are Everything stamp set includes four different silhouette flowers with some nice bold sentiments that can be mixed and matched to create some different sentiments. So you can do You Are a Kind Friend, You Are Wonderful, You Are Beautiful, You Are Amazing, You Are Awesome to Me, You Are More Than Enough. So it gives you lots of different ways that you can use them. The flowers themselves can be stamped. This one here is just stamped in black and then trimmed out on craft and put onto a card. But you can also um, use them like with different colors as well. Like these little sentiments here look good when they've done in different colors as well. And then you can also use a really nice watercolor effect here with these flowers. This is just something that I've done in the bottom of a journal here. So just using distress inks. So you can see you can get some really soft effects with those flowers along with some more bolder designs. And these are just some other little water flower or water coloring pieces that I've done. So that's the uh, the You Are Everything stamp set. Now the sketch number stamp set, it actually goes with our sketched alphabet stamp set that we released last year. So you can mix and match um, according to what you want to use for that. And I'll just show you quickly uh, my journal here. So I've used it for the numbers for a journal. And then you can use the little other pieces in here to do dates and various other things so it works really good for planners or if you want to put numbers above a birthday cake or if you want to create little abstract tags like this for your art journals and various other bits so the puzzle pieces here it's a really fun little stamp set it's got lots of little different pun sort of sentiments on there which makes it a little you know quirky and fun um, and so here's a little card here using that with some Copic markers and just using one of the sentiments on top. And then our last stamp set here is Spread Your Wings. And this has got some beautiful butterflies stamps that can be stamped up and colored. These are using Copic markers. You could also use distress inks and various other things to create your projects. And you'll see it's got three different sized butterflies and you can use them together to create some really nice tags or into your art journal pages or anything that you like. Next we have four new background stamps and we've got Hand Woven, Daisy Delight, Jigsaw and Crossword. And these four give you some really fun ways to add backgrounds to your cards. So this one's using the Hand Woven and you can see here two different kind of styles of using it. This is like using warm ink colours here and it's quite a, um, like a, quite a feature here for this card. And then on this card here you can see how it's just stamped in a really light grey. So that just gives you a really slight texture for your background of the card without overpowering it. So you can still do all of this really nice focal point for the front, but you've still got some texture there for the background. So that's a really nice natural looking background stamp. The next one, this Daisy Delight, is a really fun background where you can color in your daisies using different distress inks. This one here I've created using different distress inks and just watercolored into the daisies and then just add some stickles there for the center just to give it a bit of bling. And then this card here is a bit more subtle. I've just used distress oxide inks just to create that really nice subtle background there and then just blended it out with a little bit of a water brush just to blend out some of that color. So you can see you can get two different styles of backgrounds there for your daisy delight. You can also use that, again, just showing this tag. Uh, if you stamp it onto tissue paper and just add little tiny bits and pieces to your tags and your cards, it's also great for using for art journal backgrounds as well. So you can add, you know, bits and pieces, make your own collage papers with these backgrounds. So the jigsaw and the crossword are really fun to use, and you can use the jigsaw background with the puzzle pieces stamp set and combine them together to create some really nice cards and tags. So this here is just using that jigsaw background with the puzzle pieces on top. And again, here's another little card here, or tag I should say, using that jigsaw background and coloured in with a few different coloured pencils just to highlight those jigsaws. And our crossword um, background stamp, I've just stamped it here just in black just to create that crossword look for the background and used a sentiment from the puzzle pieces stamp set 
to complete that card. And the fun thing about this crossword stamp is it's actually a real crossword. We've turned it into a workable crossword. So we've got all the clues up here on the back of the header card when you purchase the stamp. Um, so that means then you can stamp this entire thing out, complete the crossword. And if you're making cards for your friends who are into crosswords, they can also complete it as well. So you can actually download these clues on our website at darkroomdoor.com and you can include that inside with your cards so then they can complete the crossword as well. And if you're looking for the answers, there's also underneath the stamp here on the header card, there is the web address for downloading the complete solution for the crossword. Next, we have four new photo stamps. We've got electric guitar, football, planted sunflower and German shepherd. Now photo stamps are really um, a fun for us to make because we create them from my photography and they're highly detailed stamps that can be used as really good focal points for your cards or your art journals or any other project that you'd like to make. So this is just one showing that electric guitar and I've just stamped it using archival link and then using distress inks to sponge some of that really nice warm color on to the card there and you can see there I've just done some embossing in the background of sheet music and paired it up using one of our new sentiment stamps so that's a really nice way to use that electric guitar and then here's a nice little bright one so you can see you can just mix and match um, or color up the guitar in any color that you wish depending on who you're giving that card to uh, this is a sentiment here created from that you are everything stamp set that we've released uh, in this release as well so that's a fun little card the little football uh, stamp set looks really nice when it's colored in with some distress ink so i've just stamped again with that archival link and then just sponging some distress ink around there and using our fishing net background stamp and the champion word block stamp to create a sentiment for those cards next up we've got planted sunflower this is a beautiful card with lots of details in it and you can see here with the sunflower's been colored up with green leaves, all that wood grains showing through there on the handles of the fork and the spade with the watering can. And then also the gloves, the gardening gloves, which you can color up in any different color as well. So that's all been colored with Copics. You could also use distress inks or any other um, coloring medium to color up that stamp. And then lastly, we have the German Shepherd and look how beautiful this is here. This is also just watercolored using distress inks. So stamping first with the archival link and then using a water brush with your distress inks and then just coloring in that beautiful stamp there. So you can see how the photo stamps give you a really nice focal point for your cards and your projects. And here we have our four new sentiment stamps and four new abstract stamps. Now these stamps are a long strip and the sentiment stamps include lots of different sentiments within the one theme. So this one is the long distance, then we've got get well, we've got Father's Day and we've got Mother's Day. And I'll just show you a couple of different ways that they can be used. So see here you can use the sentiments here as a long strip. This one's using the long distance sentiment and I've just paired it up here using our Portrait Inches stamp set. Uh, so that just shows you, you know, a way that you can use them as an entire strip on your card. This is another one. This is the Get Well Soon on that card again where I use the Daisy Delight in the background. And the other thing with sentiments, you don't have to use the entire strip. You can just cut them down into smaller sections. So this is using the Mother's Day uh, sentiment stamp and just using four little sentiments from that. You can also just use them as one sentiment. So you could just use love you. That could even be for a Valentine's one. You can have thanks for everything. That could just be a thank you card. So you can see even with that one theme stamp, you get lots of variety of other different sentiments. So it means you could use it for other things, not just Mother's Day. So there's lots of different variety on there. And here again, here's a Father's Day card where I've just used three of the little sentiments there just on that card there. So the sentiments are really fun to mix and match the sentiments for your um, card needs. And then we've got abstract stamps and these are a fun little way to add different layers and textures to your cards or your art journal pages or your mixed media projects because they're really great for you know pressing into texture paste or into clay and various other things like that. So here's a couple of cards here using those. Now this one here I've created just using all four abstract stamps actually on the one card just using different ink colors just to make some just like sit in the background and then others come more to the foreground 
foreground as more of a focal point. And this card here, this one shows all the different ones, you know, using them together. So the little swirly one here with the script above it, a few little swirls here, and then the bolder designs just to add that bolder look to your cards. Here's another couple of cards here. And this one's using the little script down the right hand side and the little swirls on here for the butterfly to sit onto. And this one here with the checker along the bottom just as a border. And you'll notice that the checker's got a nice little organic edge to it as well. And that's the same with all of our abstracts. It means then that you can continue them on and you can just stamp them directly onto your uh, project without having to sort of like mask anything off. You can just you know, use little bits and pieces of that stamp and it'll work really organically on the cards. So that's the finish of our stamp release for February this year. And I hope you've enjoyed this little sneak peek at, you know, what we've released and some of the projects that we have created. We'll still be sharing more on the Darkroom Door website. So please check us out at darkroomdoor.com or ask for all of these stamps at your favourite craft retailer. And thanks so much for watching.